Mic drop. Oh, 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 it's way more liquidy than I thought. My skin feels really soft. everybody, my name is Madison McIntyre and I have a channel here on YouTube where I do all sorts of videos ranging from TV and movie commentaries to turning myself into the Grinch. I have combination skin and a few of the concerns I'm hoping this product is able to help me with is mostly the overall appearance of my skin. I will get random breakouts here and there and cause overall uneven skin tone. 100% honest and unsponsored review of the Polish Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. My dream in life is to have just the perfect glowing even skin tone so I can wear as little makeup as possible. I am so, so excited to be trying out this product for two weeks because I'm always seeing it whenever I'm looking for new skincare, but I have never just purchased it and tried it out, so I guess we'll see. Before we get started, let's do some investigator work. Okay, so on the Polish Choice website, this product has 4.1 out of 5 stars, and all the most recent reviews are 5 out of 5 stars. If it even does half of what some of these people are promising, I think I would be happy. So this is a gentle leave-on exfoliant with salicylic acid and BHA or beta hydroxy acid. So the salicylic acid will help with unclogging pores, smoothing out wrinkles, and smoothing and evening your skin tone. And the BHA is going to help shed the built-up layers of skin. So I currently have all different stages of breakouts on my face. Down here we have a little scabby guy. And then we have like a new pimple forming. We have some like stubborn bumps that just have been there for way too long. And then I obviously have some acne scarring, just some uneven coloring, some redness. So I'm super excited to see how this product is going to hopefully fix those. This is what the bottle looks like. It did not come in any other packaging, just like this, which personally I'm fine with because it produces less waste. And if you unscrew the cap, it's like, a, like I don't know what you would call this. Like a spout, a dropper, a little hole in it, I don't know. But I like it because in my mind it seems pretty hygienic. You know, you just tilt it upside down and you're not, you know, touching anything, reaching your fingers in. Should I put it on the back of my hand? Oh, 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 it's way more liquidy than I thought. I smell nothing. Okay, so it's very liquidy. I don't even know if you can see that. It's like water. It has no smell. I'm pretty sure there is no fragrance at all, which is good because fragrance isn't always the best. Let's just put it on my face, I guess. You can either apply it with like a cotton pad, a cotton round, or just directly on your face, which is what I'm gonna do because you don't waste as much product. How should I go about this? I also don't know how much to do for my whole face. Oh, I definitely feel like I need more. Gently rub and pat it on my face. The more you rub it in, it kind of becomes tackier, like more like a serum. Day three using this product, let's talk about it. First off, the easiest way that I've found to apply it because I don't want to use a cotton round is to just put it into the palm of my hand and then pat it all over my face. So yesterday I applied some makeup just to see how my skin looked, how it applied over top of the product, if it changed anything, and the application and wear of my makeup was completely the same, except that I did notice I had a lot of dry patches like on my cheek area, and I don't like the way foundation looks on my skin in the first place because it can look cakey and dry a lot of the time, but these were especially pronounced dry patches. I have also noticed that during the day, my skin has felt tighter and more dry, so I've just made sure to apply moisturizer if it's feeling super dry, just to keep my skin hydrated. It has been one week since I've been using this, and so far, the biggest difference that I've noticed is just the texture of my skin. It has, my skin has been feeling so smooth. 
texture was not the biggest concern I had, but my skin has been feeling baby soft, like especially on my cheeks. There's still some bumps and irregularities, but every day I'm just like, wow, my skin feels really soft. As far as the redness and discoloration that I have, I haven't seen a huge difference, but it's only been a week and I know stuff like that takes a long time to kind of heal you know, correct itself. But if you're someone who struggles with the texture of your skin, I think this is a product that you should definitely look into and do some research on and see if it will work for you. Okay, it is day 10. I'm about to do my skincare, but I had to do my makeup for something and I've been wearing it for about three hours. And so I just wanted to show you, do a little check-in of how my skin looks with makeup on. I feel like even when applying my makeup, I feel like it just looks better than normal. And I know the first time I wore makeup, my skin wasn't doing the best because it was my first few days of using this product and so my skin was more dry. But even to how my skin was before using this product, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like my makeup just kind of like looks better. Not fabulous, but not horrible. So overall changes that I've seen in my skin. Number one, the biggest one has to be the texture of my skin. My skin isn't perfectly smooth or anything, but definitely like just my cheek area has been feeling so smooth. And when I wear makeup, I feel like it just looks 10 times better than it ever has. It just looks smooth and not as dry as it can sometimes. One thing that I noticed it didn't help a ton for me is my acne like the random amount of acne i get so like as you can see i still have had some breakouts down here and like in this area but i haven't had any like up on my cheek area if you see this you know bigger red dot up here at the beginning of our two weeks together this was a newly formed pimple that was quite large it just kind of started going away and is now fading. I definitely will continue using this product, seeing how it affects my skin for a longer amount of time. I think maybe after one month or maybe two months, I'll do like an update on my channel possibly. If you're watching this like a month or two after this video comes out, you can go check that out, I guess. Overall, I would give this product, should I do three and a half stars or four stars? I feel like I should personally give it three and a half stars because it, it didn't really do the main things I wanted to change. But I do like it and I think if you're someone who is struggling with texture or like fine lines on your skin, then I, I definitely think this is a product you should look into. That is the end of this video. I hope you had a great time. I had a great time. Have a beautiful day. Subscribe to Glowish and see you in their next video. Mic drop.